from my point of view, it started when we took shop class out of high school. And when we did that, we really just unleashed a storm of unintended consequences. Around the same time, we started telling kids that the best path for the most people was a four-year degree. Not just a good path, but a path that if you didn't take, you're going to wind up with some sort of vocational consolation prize. That steady drumbeat after 40 years, that's what we're seeing right now. We've got over 11 million open positions, most of which don't require a four-year degree. We got $1.7 trillion in student debt on the books. We're lending money to kids who will never be able to pay it back to train them for a lot of jobs that no longer exist. And we still just have our thumb on the scale. We're still saying these jobs are good, these jobs are bad. I've been hearing from for years that robots are going to wreck blue collar work. Turns out AI is coming for your white collar job. Today, there's more than 9 million job openings and only 6 million will get filled. Most of those jobs don't require a college degree. Employers simply can't find the skilled workers to hire. And it's going to get worse. Nearly half of the trades workforce is nearing retirement in the next decade. That's right, half. So, what happens to our way of life when we don't have the skilled people to, you know, fix things? So, what if someone doesn't want a dirty job? What? What? Whoa. A what do you mean? Dirty job, you know. <laughs> Who doesn't want a dirty job? Right? I mean, with, is that the kind of person you send to college? Look, there, there is no kind of person. There is no dirty job. There is no clean job. There is no good job. There is no bad job. There's work. There's jobs. And there are people. And we're not all the same. And part of the problem today, in my view, is that we talk to everyone as if they're the same person. We, we dispense this advice like it's one size fits all. And it's not. But I'll tell you what is quantifiable. How much debt do you have? I have no debt. Okay. Not everybody can say that. We got $1.7 trillion in student loans on the books right now. Before the pandemic, we had seven and a half million open positions, most of which didn't require a four-year degree. And yet, what do we tell this generation again and again? If you don't get your four-year degree, you're screwed. It is a trick and, and a trap, in my view, to talk very broadly about advice. There might be people watching this right now who should go to a four-year school. Right. I, I have no doubt, I have a four-year degree. My liberal arts education served me really, really well. But I'll show you something that exists today that didn't exist when I went to college. And here it is, this thing. Right. I have access now with an internet hookup to 99% of all the known information <laughs> in the world. Two nights ago, I watched a lecture from MIT. Last week, I watched a lecture uh, from Harvard for free. Anybody anywhere today has access to all the stuff that I had to pay for in 1984. And it's madness to suggest that the best path for the most people is also the most expensive path. 